Good morning, YouTube. Um, actually, good afternoon. It is around 1 o'clock on Monday, December the 4th. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, yeah, and so that's that. <laughs> uh, yeah, nothing really going on today other than my car is in the shop. Again, wanting a Christmas present. I swear, every year around this time, my car feels the need to voice her opinion and say she would like uh, some body work done. Every year around this time, she deserves, she thinks she deserves some love too. Whatever. So I'm waiting for that lovely call to let me know that I have to spend a thousand dollars on her. Always fun. Anyway, actually there is news. There is a bag that I think I may get myself since my car decides that it wants to act up, I'm gonna decide that I wanna act up. Because you know what? At least I'll have a bag in my closet that I can say, yeah, that's where that money went to. So if my car wants a gift, I'm gonna get a gift too. It's just how it goes. Anyway, it is this coach um, and it's the coach and Rodart, Rodart? Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Um, that collaboration. Um, I, the gray bag, I'm gonna put a picture. Uh, with the sequins, and the sequins are actually leather. They're actually little bits of leather. Um, and Macy's has it 30% off. So I have it on hold. I'm gonna go look at it and play around with it and see if I really want it. Or if this is just my acting out because my car has the nerve to act out. One of us has to be an adult. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's that. Um, we'll see if I get it. We'll see. Uh, yeah, so that is that. And um, that's about it. And yeah, just a little aside uh, to my a little rant on Thanksgiving and for people who celebrate or don't celebrate, that's fine if you don't celebrate fine and if I ask your opinion and you give it to me we will sit and have a conversation as to why you don't and as to why I do I don't have a problem with that the problem I have is when you get you know people who just want to come out and just ruin your day and want to say whatever they want to say and call you names because you celebrate certain things I don't I have no time for that you know um, so that's where that came from and uh, these holidays, you know, the society and the world does things, they honor certain things that shouldn't be honored. And, you know, I can't, I have no control over that. What I do have control over is what I teach my children. And, uh, you know, and in, in my Christian background, it's things, you know, it says uh, examine everything. And if, if it's good, you know, then you, you can be partakers of it. Uh, the pilgrims and uh, the settlers did horrible, horrible things to the Native Americans that were here. Uh, basically got rid of a whole race of people. Um, horrible. You know, there's, I, there's no words to describe it. Uh, so uh, we human beings have been doing this throughout time. So Thanksgiving to me is what I make it. I have the day off. My family has the day off. We are going to get together and we're going to celebrate the fact that we all have our health and strength and jobs and everything, every good thing that God has given us. We thank him every day, but this day is what we turn to think, we, what, how we celebrate Thanksgiving. Christmas, the same thing. Do I believe in Santa Claus? No, I believe Santa Claus has taken over what Christmas or is uh, the story of Christmas. Do I believe Christ was born on December 25th? No, I don't believe he was born in the, sub in the, in the winter time. But you know what? Giving gifts to people you love and receiving them, don't see anything wrong with that, so I will. Am I sacrificing to Satan? No. And it's like my husband doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving, and you know, the next day he wants to come over and eat leftovers, come home, came home and eat leftovers? No, you're not touching the leftovers. It was sacrifice to Satan. No, you don't get any leftovers. If, you don't, if you're not there the day of, you're getting no leftovers. <laughs> What's the point? You might as well then be there and eat. No, stay away from my leftovers. Anyway, so that's that. Um, yeah, I just didn't want anyone to think I'm being, you know, insensitive to things. And look, I'm black American. I am a product of slavery. Okay, slavery. So 
Am I going to be pissed off at every white American? No. I mean, our ancestors, or my ancestors, adopted, came over here, was brought over here forcibly, and adopted Christianity. I mean, we took a hold to Christianity, you know? Am I going to be mad at Jesus because some people decided to be dumb and enslaved? No, I'm not. So I'm just going to have to weed out the ignorance and keep the good because that's all you can do in life and know what the truth is and know, know history as it happened and not as these little textbooks want to um, put it. <laughs> I'm talking a very long time. I'm going to end. Um, and I was actually watching the Macy's Day Parade and I'm looking at... You know, the depictions of everything and the pilgrims. I'm like, I'm sorry, where, where, can we have a representative of the Native American? Can we have an Indian something? Cause... But anyway, it is what it is. I live in this country and I'm thankful to live in this country. I'm thankful to be where I am, who I am, because this is where God put me. Anyway, um, that's that. So if anyone was a little flustered about what I said, about, you know, it mean to me, it's everyone has their opinion. If I don't ask you for your opinion, please don't come and try to ruin my day. It's just because um, I'm going to ruin yours. <laughs> and, you know, that's where that came from. I have, like I said, my husband doesn't celebrate holidays. My brother, one of my little brothers doesn't. So, you know, I get their point. So the least they can do is get mine. Anyway, that's that. So let's get to the outfit. Um, uh, today I'm wearing my Zawa, per Zawa, where am I, Elmer Fudd, my Zara <laughs> pearl top, and, uh, I, once again, these J. Crew slacks that I love, I love the color, I love the cut, and these Zara boots, which I have to put on first before I put on my pants, which is a little annoying, because I don't like wearing shoes in the house, so I'm walking around, you know, with just my shirt on, of course my husband loves it, but my kid. <laughs> My kids were asleep, so it's not like they're watching mommy's booty walk around the house. Um, but anyway, word of warning, guys, if you buy these boots and you wear, you want to wear them underneath tight pants, you're going to have to put the boots on first, and then you're going to put your pants on, because they won't go on otherwise, unless you wear your boots over the pants, and I don't, I don't want to do that. Anyway, so yeah, that's the outfit today, and I finally brought out my little MCM Mila tote. I haven't worn her in a while. Hope to wear her all week. Um, so, yeah, love this bag. It's got so many compartments. I love it. <laughs> With my Dior scarf. Um, yeah, and that is about it. I'm about to run to Zara. I have to, oh, before, uh, just jewelry. Just my regular stuff. Um, actually not my regular stuff. It's, well, it's my regular Chanel necklace that I wear. And my, um, Lariat, my Lariat from Etsy. My pearl Dior earrings. Catbird cuff. And then, yeah, that's it. Uh, what do I have on the lips? I have a couple of Lime Crime lipsticks on. Yeah. And uh, on the eyeballs is my Naked No. My Chocolate Bar palette, too. Yeah, so. Anyway, I have to run to Zara to try to exchange a pair of pants. I mean, my daughter is five. And uh, she's going to be five. And I usually buy her a size up from clo in clothes because... <laughs> These clothes have to last about a year or two. But Zara is really ridiculous. Now, I bought her a size 7 dress in Zara once, and, and it swims on her. But then I bought her a size 7 and a 6 in slacks, and they're too short. So now I have to go and get her a 7. And these, I hope they didn't sold out, because they sold out online. And sizing is very annoying. How is she wearing a size 7? She's 4. <sighs> I mean, she granted, she's tall for her age, but... Uh. Anyway, so I want to go and exchange those pants, and they're cute, and I got them on the sale at Black Friday, so let me show you. I hope they have them in a size, they're cute, <laughs> in a size 7, so very cute pants. Uh, you know, she wears this stuff to school, so preschool, so hopefully they have it. And then I want to check out, they have another moon dress that's sold out online. I'm going to see if it fits in the store. And it is $89. It really isn't worth $89. But I love this print of this moon dress because it will go perfectly with my, um, my bag. I want to see if they have it in the store. Anyway, so that's about it today, guys. I will be talking to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.
Hey YouTube, it is Tuesday, December 5th. Hope you all are well. I am. <laughs> and we're gonna get right into the outfit. Today I am wearing my, uh, this sweater that I got from, I got this actually from Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, it's, and it's from a, a brand called Alsi. It sold out at Saks Fifth Avenue because it went on like super sale, but it is still available at Bloomingdale's. And this is the back. Let's see if I can get a closer shot. Can you see? It's just a really cute, um, it's got a sparrow, very nice patches on it. Yeah, something to jazz up. Um, the sweater, so there's a patch here. I just like the silver patches on it. A little butterfly, that's the side. Yeah, so. Um, so the brand at Bloomingdale's that it's under is um, Aqua. So I don't know what's going on there. Someone's copying someone. But anyway, it's a curly sweater. But I just thought the patches were well done. So, yeah. A little pop of something. So wearing that with a, a very old suede gray skirt from Banana Republic and my Zara boots, which I am loving. I love these boots. Love them. Um, so, very glad I got these boots. All with my uh, MCM Mila tote. Yeah, so the weather is absolute crap this day, although it is 60 degrees, but it is supposed to be getting very chilly starting tomorrow. Boo. Uh, I, I mean, it's crap because it's raining. It's like about to rain. So, hope I don't mess up my suede skirt and my Zara boots. Zara boots are nylon. Uh, jewelries, I am wearing my, um, diamond studs, cat bird ear cuff, Apple watch, which I keep forgetting to show. Uh, love this thing. And just my, um, the same rings I've been wearing for a while. Um, wearing the Too Faced chocolate bar on the eyes and a Latin crime lip conglomeration on lips. Yeah, and that's about it today, uh, guys. Nothing new going on, thankfully. I think I've rethought getting that coach bag because my car has cost quite a lot of money and uh, there goes the coach bag. What are you gonna do? I need the car when you own a car. Sometimes you gotta do what cars want you to do. So, super boo. Anyway. Whatever. I don't need the coach bag anyway. And that's about it. So I, yeah, I think I will just be talking to you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Hey YouTube. It is Wednesday, um, December 6th. Yes. I'm about to head home. It is about 5.30. Um, yeah. So I'm about to get out. Get out of here. Um, let's see, oh, on my jaunts today, I went to Bloomingdale's, of course I had to stop by the Dior counter. And I was showing them, I just wanted to see if they have the pearl bracelet that the U.S. never got. Of course they didn't have it. Um, and then I tried on some bracelets, there's one bracelet that's really nice, it's brass, and it has a bunch of, um, crystals on it, <laughs> rhinestones, and it says Dior, and so it's very nice, you know, it's Dior. So I tried it on. I was like, oh, how much is it? 700 And the guy said, oh, no, it's $1,100. i am like, well, you could just take it off my arm. It's $1,100 or something. <laughs> anyway, so that was a no-go. But I like the, I do like their double-wrapped, the um, leather bracelets. Those are nice. Those are like $4.95. They're like from $4.50 to $4.95. But I came out unscathed. Um, and then he saw my um, Twilly. Or my Mitsu scarf that's on my um, MCM bag and um, so he was like oh I love what you did I love how you put it on the bag yada 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 and then I was I don't know if you the camera will pick it up but it's starting to get a little dirty so I was like oh yeah I guess I could just take this off and put it in the cleaners and he's like yeah or you can buy a new one I like how he's just flippantly you know says that oh you can just buy a new one as if these things cost $9.99 and I was like nice try so I walked out of there with just this business card. I said, you get an E for effort, but that's all you're getting from me. So 
that was that. Um, yeah, so anyway, let's get to the outfit. Um, he saw my MCM bag I'm wearing, um, and then I'm just wearing this um, J. Crew uh, sweater with this very old suede pink skirt from Banana Republic, and these Zara boots, um, thigh high boots that will not stay up on my thighs. Very annoying. They just squench down. I mean, they don't look hard when they squench, but they squench, and I wish they wouldn't squench. Does anyone have any tricks? Let me know how you keep your thigh high boots up, which is one of the main reasons why I don't buy nylon thigh high, li, ugh, nylon thigh high boots because they never stay up. One leg always sags, but I like these. These are from Zara, so I figured I'd give them a try. They were navy blue, so of course anything navy blue gets me. Um, oh, I got my earring from Bing Bang. It's the little happy face um, earring. I bought this, bought these. Um, on, oh, excuse the nails, they are hard. Black Friday, it's a cute little happy face. Haha, <laughs> very cute. I like how it sits in the second hole there. Um, so, it's cute. And then my diamond earrings, catbird cuff, um, heart chain, um, heart pendant, and Apple Watch, L&M cuff, uh, Pandora bracelet, and my uh, evil eye brace, diamond bracelet from Macy's. Um, yeah, and that is about it. About to head out. I know it is, the temperature has slowly been dropping. Um, and so I pulled out my Sam New York coat. Oh, I was walking. I always get a comment from a guy when I wear this coat. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, that's not true. I mean, a lot of ladies compliment me on it. But I always get the compliment from a guy. Like today I'm walking, he's like, hey miss, is that a fox? I'm like, no, it is not a fox. Tee tee. Um, but, oh, it is very warm. Um, there's that. And just to show for good measure, when the, while the sun was out, of course it's dark now. I had my Tom Ford dawn today. These ones. Um, so yeah, that was it for today, guys. Um, lipsticks, say, uh, I have a bunch of, not a bunch, but at least two <laughs> lipsticks from, um, Kat, La Kat Von D, and I'm still with that chocolate bar palette, which I may be allergic to because all week now I've been wearing it, my freaking eyes have been watering. Very annoying. So, I don't know what's going on with that. But that is about it, uh, my friends. Um, I will be talking to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Hey, YouTube. It is Thursday, December the 7th. I have been here, there, and everywhere. I have wasted a bunch of time. I don't know why these shops only hire, like, one person for the whole shop. I was in Toys R Us for I don't know how long. Wasted time, basically. Pandora how long they don't have anything in stock it's like why are we not stocking the popular items it's Christmas <sighs> whatever such a waste of time anyway that's my uh, lunch time shenanigans it is freezing out and just about the only thing I like about winter is wearing this coat very warm actually the fur keeps you very warm um, yeah, that's about it today. Nothing really going on, so let's get to the outfit. <laughs> today I am wearing my, um, this, uh, what is this, cashmere sweater, turtleneck sweater from <clears throat> Lord and & Taylor, and this skirt that seems to be getting smaller every time I wear it from, it's a silk skirt from, is this Koss? I believe this is Koss. Yes. My floral H&M Aerodem, um, Tights and some Zara suits. Uh, I've got on my these Tom Ford sunnies. Um, I just threw on some a Mac. I think it's constructivist paint pot this morning because I got up late and I wasn't feeling it. Lips. I don't know why I even bother to tell you guys lips because I just throw on everything. I think I have like four things on <laughs> to make this color. I was watching one of my old videos. And I had a color and I didn't mention it. And I'm like, darn it. And I tried to recreate it and this is not it at all. Oh well. 
still wearing my um, diamond studs, which I have fallen back in love with. My little happy face from Bing Bang, Catbird, Ear Cuff, <coughs> and um, Apple Watch, Pandora bracelet, bracelet from Macy's, L&M Cuff. Uh, what is this? My Chanel necklace and my uh, necklace, my pendant from J. Crew. Yeah, and that's it. Oh, and just my uh, coach basement tote because I have a th ton of things I need to carry home. And the next bag I buy is going to be a black bag that is <sighs> that I can like throw things around in. I can wear it crossbody. I mean, that is probably going to be <clears throat> excuse me the black Co Chloe Marcy. I should say the next high end bag I buy. That Chloe Marcy bag, um, I think is 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 the jam in black. So that is the next bag I buy. Maybe for my 40th. We'll see. 40th is coming up next year. Anyway, um, yeah, that is about it for me this week. I am glad to say that I have not lost my footage from my jewelry collection. I don't know why I didn't think before to download an app to flip the, the, the footage. There's an app for that. So I just need to, um, uh, edit it and that will be up soon. I have got some footage from my New York City, well, I should say Midtown, uh, Christmas in New York City, in Midtown uh, version. <coughs> One of you lady, lovely ladies asked me for that. That will be coming up soon. And yeah, that is about it for this week. Hope you guys have a lovely weekend and I will talk to you next week. Take care. Bye.